Hey YouTube, I ordered a new hard drive for my Apple computer, WD10JPLX, one terabyte. I haven't tried it yet, just ordered from New Egg. Here's my old hard drive from my Apple. It's a late 2012, see it says, must be original hard drive, February 13. It's got one bad sector, it's very slow. Um, so I decided to upgrade to a 7200 RPM 32 catch. They're both 6 gigs transfer. And this one is only 8 MB catch, that Hitachi. That's only 5400 RPM, not 7200. So it might get a little hot in there. Here's the LCD screen made by uh, LG. And that's off my Mac. There's my Mac. I took it apart. <clears throat> so I'm going to test the hard drive before I put it in there to make sure it's... Uh, working so we're going to do that right now and before i uh put it all back together and adhesive and stuff and but let's see how it turns out here okay we're going to turn on and try it now okay it reads 100 percent health Three start and stop counts. They must have tested it. On here. Don't care about the serial number on that one. It's no warranty anyway. I'm going to keep that one for my PS3 or something if the hard drive would go out on it. I'd have that. No matter if it's got one bad sector, it's still good. No, that's going to be fun to get back together. I got adhesive for it to put it back together, the glue. So, But i got to be very careful and get the connectors back in and right in place so that works, you know. Okay, so I got the hard drive in. Now i got to get the adhesive off around there and put the new ones on carefully put the screen on and we'll see how this goes guys it's hopefully this thing will work faster but i doubt it i wish i would have got the ssd but uh i just didn't want to mess with the ssd because i didn't know if this mac would be compatible and stuff with it but it probably would have but i like hard drives better so I got tape on it to hold it on. I glued the screen back together, put adhesive on there. So we're doing the internet recovery now. The hard drive spun up. It's a little noisier. You can hear it or not. But I got tape all over just, just to secure it for now, to glue it so the glue dries and everything and the adhesive and everything. It's not the proper way to do it, but that's all right. So, we're going to recover it now and see if it makes any difference compared to this Western Digital compared to this 5400 RPM 8 MB catch to a 32 catch 7200 RPM hard drive. They're both 6 gigs transfer SATA. So, um, let's see what it does here. Comes a kitty. And them screen here being like that, that's the LCD starting to burn out. Oh, I'm gonna connect the. Oh. Ooh, mountain lion there. Okay, and it's gotta be. He said it's gotta be HD Mac, but I don't really care. I just clicked the wrong button. Okay. So the race, it's verified. Okay. Okay, now we gotta quit this. Go and reinstall Mountain Lion, I guess. Continue. Now it can always be upgraded eventually. I agree. Yes, that's what you want. Install. Alright, so we'll install it here and um, we'll keep you updated. I'll have to probably update the Mac OS Siri because it's, I don't know maybe it'll work better on this one because it seems like uh, it had a yellow cap then when I got it used you know and then I upgrade to Siri and then it was just so darn slow so okay guys I got the hard drive in like I said I'm gonna leave the tape on there for a while just let it you know go but it's 
do a shutdown and startup test. I think it's got a password on it, so I'm gonna have to we'll shut it down and see how fast it goes here. It's not shut off yet. Okay, it's off. So we'll turn it on now. I don't think it's going to make much difference in speed, but let's see how fast this loads now. I got Mac OS Siri on it now. Oh boy. <laughs> it's going a lot faster than that Hitachi 50 point RPM. Before it would be just over to here and barely moving. She's still a little slow, but she's definitely a lot faster. Oh yeah, that's fast. Oh yeah, that's definitely, that's probably about 10 times faster than that other hard drive. Let's see if it loads my iMovie, because I'm going to edit it on there and try that. I blow it iMovie on here yet. I just installed it, so I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, see, I have to. So I was slow the first time. Ball, let's try it again now. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, 10 times faster. Let's try it again here. Try, uh... Oh, God. Yeah, this hard drive here, that would have probably took about five minutes to load iMovie. That's quite a difference to that Western Digital 32 catch, 7200 RPM. They're both six gigs, but look at that, 54. This drive had one bad sector, and, um was starting to fail but was fine yet and I wrote a full zeros on it and it didn't correct it so the drive is no good there's no sense of having it so I'll keep it for a spare I mean it still works it's not like I'm gonna kill it but I got that new Western Digital on there one terabyte um not sure what it is here I forgot what I ordered here uh let's see. I want to show you my serial number but Okay, wait a second here. I got that processor in my iMac, iCore 5, 2.9 gigahertz. Only one processor, number cores four, catch, um, six MB, eight gigs of RAM. Okay, we're gonna show you the hard drive here. Just one second, make sure the serial number, we gotta cover that up. That's the hard drive I got in there. And it was on sale at New Egg. And it's got 32 buffer, 72 rotation speed. So I'm gonna get this out of the way here. So yeah, um, well, uh, that wasn't too hard to get into that Apple. Just have to be very careful of the webcam, and I just used a Walmart gift card and slid across here and go around the screen here. And I didn't need a suction cup, and I just took the adhesive off and then had it laying down, and I lifted up, and there was two little connectors, one for the webcam, microphone, and one for the display, and just lift up the pin, and it slid it right out. And hard drive's right here right there and there's just four bolts holding it in there and a rubber vibration thing and that's it i mean the fan was right there i blew it out i checked the caps on the processor or caps on the motherboard and they all looked perfect they weren't uh, bulged out uh everything looked very good in there uh fan was dirty so i blew that out the processor i blew that out it was pretty dirty um it's probably another indication why it was getting slow and locking up 
So we'll see how it goes. We'll play with it and see if the hard drive dies. I tested it before I put it in there on my Windows PC. It said 100% health and performance. Three start and stop counts when I just got it. So obviously they turned it on twice to test it back to the factory. It was manufactured April of 17. So, you know, it's not too old. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I know I didn't do much video of taking it apart, or, you know, because it's too tedious to do that, and I don't know. It's just, you know how it is.